Salut, bienvenue, welcome to another video in sunny south of France. Uh, today I wanted to give you a bit of a review on this uh, Renergy panel here, wow that's hot, um, and also a Bowden's uh, battery solar generator, uh, which I bought for around 240 euros I would say when I first bought it. I've owned the panel and the, and the battery for about six months now, so it's definitely time to give it a review. And it's worked really well. We've got some really fantastic weather today, as you can see, and uh, demonstrates the, the power of the panel. So firstly, I'll just run through the panel, not to waste any time, and then I'll show you what the power the panel can power. And, uh, and then we'll just go through some of the specifications of um, the battery and what it can use. So this is a 100 watt panel from Renergy. They run on uh, Amazon, I believe, for around 60 to 80 euros, and you could easily say 60 to 80 dollars, I think. So we've got these two MC4 connectors, cables, and basically you just, uh, it's a plug and play system. So you've got minus and plus, and it comes through the bottom here, which is over there. It's a really simple system, and uh, it comes through like that. I keep it hidden underneath the panel like that, and bear with me. And then I'm living in an off-grid cabin, which I want to do a whole video again, updating what's changed, because it's been a few, it's been actually about like, probably a year now since I've been doing another, lots of things have changed, but, so the cable comes in from the panel into the cabin through here. Essentially the way this works is that you just plug it in, because I've got the power coming in, and then that will illuminate and come on, and now it's charging. And it's it's super good, seriously. Like, there's no issues, no complaints. And it's portable, so it's just hooked on the end of this rail here, and it's portable. Like, you could just dump this in the car. You could take this backpacking if you want. Um, it's a bit heavy. But it's it's fairly lightweight considering how how much power it can give. Now this is the light source I have, which is like a daisy chain of of lights. And uh, I mean you're not gonna. I've got some video footage when we're at the night time because you won't actually see anything right now. Um, but you just plug it in, and AC power on, and then you'll have your light system. I mean you're not you're not really gonna see that right now, not very clearly anyway. But you know, there's some there's some lights there. They've came on. And that get that lights up my uh, my cabin during the night. So yeah, it's a pretty nifty system. I'm pretty chuffed with it. I'm no complaints so far. I would love it to be a larger system, I guess. But that could be always added on in the future. And then I have the battery which sits inside, which I'll have another shot showing that. Um, but this is what it can power. So essentially, this is the battery. This is all you need, right? And on the back, we've got some of the specification here. Now, honestly, take some of it with a grain of salt because uh, it says the output is 100 and AC output. So you've got DC and AC. And uh, the AC is for p powering stuff like I've got a little electric thermo flask kettle thing which I'll show you in a minute um, and that runs on AC power now it takes 300 watts to actually power that thing but I'll get I'll get into it um, it sort of works and basically the output can be 150 watts out of this thing so let's say if you've got like a fridge or you've got um, like a powerful I don't know, vacuum cleaner or something electric that's over 150 watts, this thing will just shut off. It won't run. Um, the battery inside is this new LiPo 4 stuff, which is longer lasting. It's rated at 5 to 10 years or something like that. And you've got 140 watt hours. It says 160, but I've seen on other people's reviews, it's actually more like 140. And as it says, it's made in China. And I think there's a lot of companies which put their brand name on the side of this thing. Uh, I've seen another company called Soiree or something like that. 
In France, it's called Baudin, maybe because it sounds more French. I don't know. Um, and anyway, regardless of that, it still works fine. They're all the same product. Um, now, for the powering, it's really cool, actually. You basically plug it in. So you got, this is the front of the unit. And uh, essentially, you've got this red input uh, DC connector. And in the box, you'll have a bunch of other cables. I'll, I'll, I'll show a demonstration of it charging. Um, I'll just turn it on to give it an impression of what, it, what happens. There we go. Um, and basically, you plug it in, and it's that easy. It has a, a charge controller and a BMS, I believe it's called, inside. I'm not an expert on these things. But all that stuff is inside, so you just simply run it, and you plug it in, and then you've this is great for like people who live off grid in a van or in a cabin or if you're going in a in a car for a long period of time. I wouldn't recommend this for like bike packing or backpacking. It's a bit heavy. Maybe if you were just backpacking like from town to town this might work. Um but yeah, it's a great system. So you just plug it in and it works and you've still got another two outputs here. So I use this like a charge controller and also it's a battery in, inside. I would love it if it was 300 watt hours. It's a bit too small on the capacity. I do recommend something more powerful. But for the money, I mean, it's it's been doing so well. I mean, I've had this for six months and there's been pretty much no issues with it. It's a fantastic little, little piece of kit. Um, you've got a 3.0 fast charger there. I'm not sure if it's 60 watts, probably 30. Uh, and then you've got two standard 2.4 .4 amps. I recommend charging them on a slower charge. Um, then you've got this um, AC plug, which is good, just here. Now to turn on the function, I'll show you how I light up my cabin inside in another video or another clip. But basically, you turn the AC function on. Now if we plug it in, okay, now it's on. This electric kettle will come on, for example. And uh, right now, there's nothing in it, and I think it says it's 28 degrees, which is in pretty warm, considering there's no water in it. Um, it's a pretty nice, nice, nifty system, actually. I recommend this. It was only like 30 euros. Now, technically, this works with this system, with the battery, but honestly, do I recommend it with this battery? Technically, no, because it's not rated for it. It'll sometimes cut out. So once it gets to like 80 degrees, the kettle will just switch off. Um, so I do recommend getting a more powerful system. Minimum 200 watts if you want to run this 300 watt kettle. And it's from a company called Derma. Or it's a brand name. This, this stuff's all from Shenzhen in China. Uh, but it's pretty decent quality. It's amazing stuff. But that's not, this isn't really a review on this machine. Um, but you can see it's 300 watts here. 350 milliliters that they put inside, that you can put inside. Now another thing from Shenzhen, we've got uh, this uh, Mi, Xiaomi watch, which I sometimes use, and that charges through the USB ports. I also charge a Samsung, what is this called? An S5e, I think it's called, the tablet. Um, and it's it's a budget tablet, but it does really good performance for the money. And that's a, I think it's a 7,000 milliamp hour battery inside. So yeah, basically I run this as like a computer, which is pretty neat. Uh, and I've got my Bluetooth keyboard with it. And then I've got another light sometimes I charge. And on top of that, there's this uh, 10,000 milliamp hour battery bank, also from Shenzhen. And yeah, that works pretty well. So you've got 10,000 milliamps out of there. Sometimes I discharge power into that because I've got excess power. Now, the most powerful thing that I try to run is the electric kettle. I've tried a vacuum cleaner. Uh, the vacuum cleaner only works on a very low setting. Uh, and it doesn't have a lot of power that comes through it, obviously, because it can only output 150 watts from the, from the output there. Um, it does run a TV. I've got a TV in the cabin that is a probably an 80 watt. Um, I think it's 80 watts when I last measured it. And essentially when I run it on low power mode on the TV itself, 
two and a half hour to a three hour film, and then the battery's dead, basically. Um, so that gives you an idea of how much power this can hold. So it can run a TV, like a big, nice, beautiful TV, for about three hours, and then it's dead. Um, now this kettle, for example, I, it does work, and I have managed to boil water with it several times, twice, um, with one charge, I would say. But it's it's more like, I would say you'll get one comfortable boiling hot water from this battery to run that kettle. Um, you can charge a tablet, though, as much as you like, and a phone, which I'm recording on right now, this the phone you, you, I'm recording on, uh, it, it can charge it for like, I'm not even sure, it's something like maybe 30 times, it's ridiculous. You, you won't run out of power. How long does this take to charge though, this battery? Well, that depends. So basically, you're going to get two bars on a really, really cloudy, wet, rainy day. You're probably going to get three bars on a cloudy day. And then even on a partially cloudy day, it will easily charge. Because basically, the input power you can put about 43, I think it was something like 40 watts into it. So it can charge 40 watts per hour, I think if that's correct, uh, from the 100 watt Renergy solar panel. Um, so essentially, the panel on the top of the roof is actually overkill, and you could easily charge something twice the size of this system, and it would work fine. On a sunny day, I've got so much power in it, it's ridiculous. I can fully charge every single item I have in the cabin uh, and have tons of power left over for the end of the day. Um, so on a sunny day, this kit works fantastic. I do recommend getting a larger battery, but if you just want to get into solar and you don't need that much power and you just want to run some basic things, it works really great. So I, I highly recommend it for the money. It's, it's pretty amazing. There is a light source on it, by the way, but in my experience, it's not that good. It's just emergency. It's not very good. Uh, I recommend plugging in a light source, and I'll show you the lights. Uh, it runs a, a full array of, like, I, I don't know what you call them. They're like a chain of lights, and um, that that's what lights up the cabin. And it works so well. It, it uses hardly any power. It's something like, maybe something as little as maybe 8 watts or something like that, or 10 watts to illuminate the entire cabin inside. Um, and now I can still run the TV, but you've only got one plug. That's the downside. You will need to get an, uh, you know, an extension or an adapter to put multiple plugs in. Um, but yeah, that's my system, and it, it works. I would love a larger one, but that's what, what works for me. I also want to mention that in winter and in summer, like the panel is fantastic either way in winter yes you get less sun but still for example this entire roof gives off so much space for the panel to get so much i mean i could easily put i don't know maybe six or seven of these panels up here if i wanted to um and you have 700 watts of power and uh, it works really well even in winter so that's what i wanted to mention uh, yes, you get less daylight, but you're never really going to run out of power. You'll always have... I've never really ran out of power, actually. I've always had enough to charge the lights and to charge my electronics um, so that I can study and work. So, yeah, it's uh, super. Hopefully you found this video useful. Um, it's a pretty good system. I recommend it. And if you have any questions about it, maybe I can help. Um, it's on Amazon. It's a pretty good price. So yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching.